I loved teaching uh, and kind of like there's a lot of like bad stigma related to teaching, you know, like about money, about hours, about being tired and everything. So I had to clean everything and be there teaching and was like kind of like, oh, this is so easy. Right. Yes. And I love that. I love the kids because they're they're so easy as well. They are so funny. They're so smiley. You know, it's so yeah, this body loves to be there, you know, and kind of like everything I learned in this journey, I was doing that. Everything, you know, when I was planning my lessons, it's marketing, you know, international relations. I'm like kind of like in London. Yeah, like I'm like, you know, yeah. I was acting like teaching is acting. You're like you're you're kind of like an entertainer, you know. Uh, and psychology helped me a lot as well and all the holistic things because it I'm a, a really good listener, you know. I sometimes the kids they just want someone to be there and that's all, you know. So I'm really grateful for my journey. And now I give so much value to the job I have, you know, and it's every day I wake up, it's a blessing. Oh I love that. And What's amazing is you're present in your work. So now you're giving that gift. So mm -hmm. all the tools are amazing and wonderful, but the impact you're making and you're bringing to these children is their ability to be present with themselves. And, you know, that's something that's been missing from the education system for the most part. Every once in a while, you'll you'll experience a teacher that you remember for the rest of your life. And that's what you're becoming for your students. Mm -hmm. You're that one that they're going to remember because you made them remember something special about themselves. And that's that's massive. And that's really, you know, you can see that's that journey that you've been on is is remembering what's special about you and, you know, being able to wake up and go, this is hard. Like it shouldn't be this hard. And, you know, it's really interesting because as you were, as you were talking, you know, I had this awareness of the last three generations where, you know, there's the, the generation that they're accustomed to suffering, right? You know, these are, these are people who were born in the forties and the fifties. Um, and, and they are accustomed to suffering and they're always preparing for suffering. You know, they don't use things, they stockpile things, right? It's, it's that not addiction to stuff. It's in their mind, it's security. If you have the stuff, you're secure if you need it because they went through the depression. They went through, you know, all the aspects that challenged our physical being. And so what came out of that was it's, it's a perspective of life that hard makes you stronger and suffering makes you stronger. And, you know, as a result, the children of that era, okay, came out with this stuck in this middle, right? Where it's, we need to, um, how do I, we were taught, like the children were taught to apologize and to follow rules and to be very obedient. And then, you know, their children became resentful of needing to be obedient. And so they started to fight back. And so this is kind of how they fought back by, by not doing a lot. And then there was sort of a, a lazy approach. And what's fascinating to me is you're none of those things. Okay. What you're, you're not saying it should be easy because I don't want to do anything. What you're saying is what I'm doing should bring me joy. It yes. should fill me up. And that's what you mean by easy. And I really want to make sure that people know that that's, that's what you're communicating. You know, I can feel it. And it's just this sense of self that says, when it's easy, 
this is what people talk about when they say I could do it all day. And, and it would never, like, I'd never be bored. But the reason that it's easy is because you're getting the stimulation that you need. Mm. And, and this is really important. I have goosebumps because this sure. is, this is where the education system fails us. We need stimulation. Humans were designed to explore our potential. And when we are not we have depression, we have anxiety, we're bored because we don't have enough stimulation that we need. Stimulation isn't about doing a whole bunch of things. It's about following our instincts and our passions, right? So when I say passions, I mean whatever interests you in the moment. If you want to watch ants build an ant house for five hours, that is brilliant, it's, it's not needing to go on and, you know, reach a goal and finish this and be able to prove something that you did at the end of those five hours, which is what the education system wants. We're going to test you. You need to tell me what you learned. No. And so that's what they're showing me is your passion, your ability to recognize that the energy that flows through you is more powerful than anything. 